How can we tell when God is truly speaking to us? Well, in Romans 10, 17, it says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's through his word that we really begin to grasp, not just his love for us, but also his manifested presence in our everyday life. Mara Gale is about to reveal an excellent example of that. You may remember Mara from my fifth episode back in November of 2018. She shared such rich content that this story has been reserved until now. You may also know Mara from the popular television series Dynasty or even Saints and Sinners or even maybe you've heard her OMG iHeart radio show or seen her preaching from the pulpits of Vernon Park Church of God where she is the first lady and wife to senior pastor Reverend Gerald January. Listen closely as Mara shares another inspirational testimony on a time in her life where she needed a yes from God and the love and support of her mother helped her to discover it. I'm Claudia Parker and 5 Minutes of Faith is starting now. Hey, I'm Mara Gale. I'm here on 5 Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. I wake up one day and I tell my mom I wanted to rent a car because I was going to work for Ted Turner. And she says, you got an interview? And I'm like, no, I don't have an interview. I just feel like I'm supposed to work for Ted Turner. Being a broadcast major, I'm supposed to work for Ted Turner. So my mom, as sweet as she is, she decides she's going to help get me a car. So she puts a deposit down, a down payment on the car. I drive the car to Atlanta. I insist that the human resource department sees me personally, although you were just supposed to fill out an application and keep going. So I get a yes from the lady. Her name was Suzanne. I'll never forget it. I go up to the, the fourth floor of the CNN Towers, and I'm having a conversation with her. I show her my little headshot. I show her my credits from working at Daybreak at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. Tell her I was a radio personality, and she's like, wow, this is some great stuff, but do you live in Chicago or do you live in Atlanta? And I'm like, oh, I live in Chicago. And she says, even if something opened up tomorrow, I'm not gonna call to Chicago to get somebody. I said, well, I'm here for two days, so if something happens, her phone rings and she mouths goodbye. She mouths goodbye, waves to me, and I am devastated because I just knew I heard God say, I'm supposed to work for Ted Turner someplace. He owned TBS, TNT, CNN, Headline News, someplace under that big umbrella, there has to be room for me. So I go to the elevator and I push the down button, which is where my heart was at that time, just deflated, just in utter unbelief. And Susan runs around the corner and she's like, Mara, Mara, you won't believe this. That phone call was from one of Ted's secretaries. She said that they need somebody because one of the secretaries went on a three month leave of absence, a medical three month leave of absence, and you are dressed the part. Can I take you upstairs to meet her? Jesus. I said, yeah. So I go up. <laughs> And I meet this woman named Debbie Munger, who became my mentor after that. She hires me on the spot. Now, let me break down God's grace and how he does a thing. When he does it, it is, it is beyond what you can imagine. The job that I was trying to get at CNN Headline News as a video journalist was paying like twelve or $14,000 a year. Debbie Munger started me at $25,000. And then it gets gooder because God didn't want to stop there because I trusted him and I was obedient and against all odds, I went ahead and trusted what was on the inside of me. And my mom played a big part in that. We had a real estranged relationship, but had she not paid for me to have a car that day to put that deposit down, none of that would have been possible. It's even gooder. It's even gooder. I love to use that word because it's, it's, it means it's better than imagine. My first date of work was eight, eight, 88. And eight in the Bible uh, is a symbol of new beginnings. This was my new beginning, moving from Illinois to Atlanta. So I get the raise, I get the money, $25,000 a year. She finds out that I, I type 75 to 80 words a minute. I didn't have any computer class experience. I didn't know how to operate a computer. She sends me to the computer classes in the building. And once I complete it, she gives me a $5,000 raise. So now I'm making $30,000 a year, but that's, that's not it. 
Then she finds out I studied accounting for three years, so I know how to do exchange rates. So then she tasks me to start doing the exchange rates and I get another raise. By the time I left that job as a video journalist, I was making $45,000 and I only stayed in that position one year because she said, if you give me one year, she says, you can go to CNN or Headline News and I will give you a recommendation. The young lady who had the position that I was only supposed to be at for three months never came back. I needed to be there that day. I needed to be persistent and persistent in that moment. I needed a yes from Suzanne to be able to go upstairs and I needed a yes from Debbie. And God had said yes in all capital letters with sparkles around him.